This is Twit. How about some whiskey? <laughs> uh, did we we did a bunch of uh, Scottish the past few weeks, and I had to do a, a, a Canadian last week just to be a variation. So let's go a little Irish today for fun. And I picked an odd one, one that's called known as Writer's Tears. Now, then this is a reference to this idea. I, mean, I always think <laughs> of James Joyce in this scenario. Yeah, yeah, he was a, this famously <laughs> slow oh, writer, like it took so him eight painful. years to write Ulysses. Oh, oh. Admittedly, 260,000 words, like 900 yeah. pages. So, uh, and that, that when frustrated from writer's block or whatever it may be, you got all these famous Irish writers like Sam Beckett, Ye- Yates, <laughs> Oscar Wilde, so they'd all drink whiskey to the point where that their tears were actually whiskey flavored. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, there are cocktails called writer's block too. There, there's a bunch of yeah. different ones. There's one that's like half Amarato, half bourbon with some lemon juice and bitters. <laughs> uh, there was one with pineapple juice. Let's not talk about that. Uh, What's interesting about Writer's Tears is that it is a new whiskey from a new distiller. So this is Bernard and Rosemary Walsh who formed a company called Walsh Distillery. Now, And they only formed that back in 99. Uh, Bernard Walsh has a long history in whiskey uh, in Ireland and it was well known. But they actually started out making an Irish coffee liqueur called The Hot Irishman. Uh, And this is before they had really had a distillery per se. They were... We were basically ordering it from other distilleries and bottling it. Uh, they did then get into uh, doing that with regular whiskey. Their first whiskey was called the Irishman as opposed to the hot Irishman. And in 2009, they made Riders Tears. Now, at this point, they did not have a distillery. They are what is known as a non-distilling producer or an NDP. And uh, which is to say that they they go to various sources to do this. Uh, Now, this is not that different from what we talked about last week with Bareface, because Bareface, those guys ordered a seven year old bourbon made with 100 percent corn right from another provider. And then they did some additional aging. They did some time in wine cask and then some time in the virgin Hungarian oak. And then they ship it over to a bottler. The wall shut up. They don't even do that much. They're literally, they're taking it from two different distilleries, having it delivered to a third place where it's barreled and aged and then bottled and shipped out. I don't know that they touch it at all. Hmm. Interestingly, adjacent to this, they did start building a distillery in about 2013 uh, and by, it was operational by 2016. <laughs> but to finance it, the 50% owner was uh, Ilva Sarono. Those are the guys who make Tia Maria and Di Zarono. And within a year or two of operations, they were fighting tooth and nail. By 2019, they went separate ways, which is to say uh, Sarono got the distillery. They renamed it the Royal Oak Distillery. It makes a line of whiskeys you've never heard of called the Buskers, which are sold only internationally. And they're not really sold in Ireland. Uh, and is the funny part is when you read the website, like if you don't get all these bits and pieces, you're, it seems like they make whiskey when really what they're doing is they're contracting out. That being said, last year they broke ground on another distillery with the intent to make Writer's Tears themselves because it has been their hit. Uh, and so they, they've made a lot of variations on it using a bunch of distant distilleries and they want to change it again, which is going to mean that you'll never know what kind of versions of Writer's Tears you're actually going to get. The original Writer's Tears, the one from 2009, is what's known as a vatted whiskey. And then we talked about these terms before, but that is to say it is a combination of different styles of whiskey. It's not a blend because a blend always has grain alcohol in it, typically made with corn to lower its cost. You just add alcohol that way. This vatted whiskey, where it is is 100% barley, which is not all that common. The Irish like playing with their mash bills. They like a little corn, a little rye, a little wheat. They go kind of nuts, but this is pure barley. In Rider's Tears specifically, they use a 40% triple distilled single malt, likely from the Cooley distillery. They keep it a secret. Um, then they also have 60% a triple distilled pot still uh, whiskey from Middleton, which is where they do a lot of their production work. Now, this is the same recipe as the Irishman, but the Irishman was 30% pot and 70% malt. And they come out to about the same price. They do, of course, refer to it as a super premium whiskey. Uh, To be clear, this is a vatted whiskey. That's not a bad thing, but it's worth about 20 bucks a bottle. And they sell it for 40 because they do spend a lot on marketing and sort of positional things. And if you drink it, 
it's pretty good. Yeah. You know, it's all right. It's nothing. It's okay. It's okay. But if yeah. you're going to spend $40 on a 40% whiskey, uh, spend $45 and buy a red breast 12. Yeah, exactly. Cause I like red breast. It's just, just, uh, just uh, yeah, a great whiskey. I bought some for a yeah. friend over yeah. Christmas actually. Yeah. If you want to, if you just want to, you can get a middling whiskey like this in a $20 range. Easy enough. Get a bottle of Jameson. And again, I'm not going to just say anything bad about Jameson. Get the black bush. Good whiskey and cheap, yes. inexpensive, very drinkable all day long. This is in a funny spot. It's got, you know, it's got going for it. A good name and some good photos. I, the uh, thing that bugs me, I'm positive I've heard of this. I'm positive I've had it. Yeah. Writer's Tears. Absolutely. Right. I've, I, dude, I've, I've had bottles of it. I mean, no no <laughs> question about it. It's not a name it. you'd forget very quickly. Right. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Names. Like It seemed like it was custom made. Especially yeah, as no. a writer. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, it goes here, right? It's got that name. It's got a name. It's got a style. It's got a finesse to it. But I swear to God, $12 of that bottle is marketing. At least. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Well, uh, uh, you know, I am here visiting my mom and she yesterday said, bring me bourbon. And uh, which way I went did you to, go? Well, she, she wanted Jim Beam, uh, uh, and she says, "Get me the one with a handle." So <laughs> yikes! I would like a jug of bourbon, <laughs> the one point one five. Did she right? play a so, song on it after? So yeah. I went. I went to the to Bottles, which is the liquor store over here, and uh, and they have oh they have all you, the um the you whiskey have a Yankee Spirits in your area. Those are fantastic stores in that area. The bottles was humongous. great. They had all the yeah. whiskeys that Richards. I mean, there was Angels okay. Envy. There was all kinds of great stuff. Yep. But the, and I, I couldn't find the Jim Beam, and I said, "Where's the Jim Beam?" And she said, "Oh, it's over here." I said, "Would you have one with a handle?" She said, "This is the East Side. We don't have Jim Beam nice. handles." <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love it. <laughs> I love that it got that local. <laughs> this is in Massachusetts. I'm you sorry, jerk. You, uh, you might want to go to Massachusetts. That is my friend. <laughs> you got to cross the waterway to find a jug. That's hilarious. probably just as well. I don't think my mom should really be. Having yeah, a handle but we have wild there. turkey by the gallon. Yeah, I that's bet really, they, well, that's, maybe. That's I really funny. Is it, So Beam's that's okay? So great. I wanted yeah. to get her something better. Okay. I wanted get to get her Crown Royal or, um, or um, hey, Crown Mark. Royal would be Yeah, get her Mark. Mark. Yeah. Not Crown Royal. Uh, get her Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark. They had a yep. big bottle Perfect. of that. They had a yep. bottle of Knob Creek. They had some good stuff. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Creek, listen, good. Beam's your classic well whiskey. She beam. It's fine. Yeah. No, nobody, nobody got, nobody died for drinking Beam. Well, she's actually, ninety one years old. She, she wants Jim Beam. Back she's yeah. getting Jim Beam. <laughs> but you know, you get a Mark's a nice bottle. Like it's a lovely drink. Oh, yeah, she, okay, I'll tell her. I'll tell you what. I don't want to get her. Well, I don't want to encourage it to be honest mm, with you. But right. she, you know, uh, so the trick is to give her a taste of more expensive whiskey, so she has to buy less. Yeah. She, I think, you know, I'm sure the doctors would say, what are you, crazy? Don't bring her whiskey. Right. But I think if you get to a certain age, you should have whatever the hell you want. Life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally. What oh, are yeah. you trying to prove? Right. You know, she likes 91. She, yeah, she won. It's done. Yeah, she's, she's already done. won. The she game's won. over. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the ring. And, uh, you know what? and she, likes her, she likes her seized candy. Mm -hmm. So uh, nice. I always bring her, I bring her a box of seeds yeah. when I come out and. I'm sure the doctor would say, well, don't let her eat the whole box. I said, mom, if you I'm not eat the whole box. She's my mother, not my the, child. I do. Yeah. <laughs> you know. yeah, eat the whole damn thing. Yep. What's it going to do? Kill you? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, everything's going to have <laughs> some fun fine. while you're doing it. You know yeah. what? She's, she, it's so fun to see her. It's kind of fun yeah, to come it's out great. Here. That's brought, awesome you're there again, brother. Yeah. That's I brought folks. Love, well, love. She's those. declining, so. Uh, you love the shutters. Plantation blends. The shutters. shutters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like my uh, plantation shutters. I'm huh? always very jealous. A lot of mom stuff behind me here. A lot of sure. antiques. Yeah. I'm in New nice. England, so it's got a bunch of oil lamps. Oh, yeah. No, it looks like the inside of a Cracker Barrel restaurant. There. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, kind of.